Hi, welcome back to Viv's Films. I'm Viv Micic and today I will be taking you through the Chekhov technique created by Michael Chekhov. So, uh, before we get started, I would like to advise you all to get out a pen and paper, uh, maybe a notebook, and just take some notes. So, just a quick table of contents here. We've got a quote, uh, then a biography of Michael Chekhov, uh, the principles of the technique, another quote, and then I will be briefly discussing... Uh, I believe you're supposed to say Mitya, the Michael Chekhov Association. All true artists bear within themselves a deeply rooted and often unconscious desire for transformation. So when I read this one, I'm like, wow, that is actually really deep. And I think it's deep because... We're always changing as individuals and an actor, I think, has a heightened sense of uh, the desire of wanting to change. So I think he's perfectly encapsulated that in, um, in those words. So I will be reading directly off the slide this time just because my last few biographies were, I think, a little long. So, let's find out about Michael Chekhov. Michael Chekhov was born in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1891. He is the nephew of Russian playwright Anton Chekhov. He studied classic drama and comedy at the Sovereign Theatre School and joined the Moscow Art Theatre under the advice of Konstantin Stanislavsky. He and Stanislavsky had a great respect for one another. Chekhov began his film acting career in 1913 and later led the second Moscow Art Theatre. Chekhov updated Stanislavsky's technique by blending it with yoga psychology and his philosophies about creativity and transformation, which I hinted to in that quote. Chekhov went on to teach acting in several European countries and founded the Chekhov Theatre in 1931. Then, in 1938, Chekhov moved to the United States and opened his own acting school, teaching stars such as Clint Eastwood and Marilyn Monroe. Shortly after, he started working in Hollywood and played psychiatrist Brulov in the 1945 film Spellbound, which earned him an Academy Award nomination. Chekhov died in 1955, but his legacy continues through his teachings and his book To the Actor. So now we're getting on to the really good stuff, uh, the Chekhov technique principles. So all of the information I found about the principles of the Michael Chekhov technique comes from uh, Mitya, the Michael Chekhov Association. I'll discuss them uh, in more detail later on in the presentation. These are the five principles of the Michael Chekhov technique and how I've understood them as the explanations provided were really confusing. So, uh, principle one, the actor must train their body through the use of psychological exercises. As mentioned in the biography, one skill Michael Chekhov used to unite and train the actor's mind and body was yoga. However, I'm confident that deep breathing exercises and guided meditations, like the ones from Headspace, could work really well too. Principle number two. The actor must use intangible means of expression while acting and rehearsing to achieve tangible results. How I've understood this is that the actor must explore the intangible psychological aspects of the character they wish to play. This includes their feelings, imagination, dreams, and the sensations they might be feeling. The actor then incorporates these into the tangible aspects of themselves, including their body, speech, and movement. I think that a good way to look at this is with the character Forrest Gump from the film of the same name. Tom Hanks brought Forrest to life by speaking the way Forrest would and behaving like Forrest would. From what I know, Tom and Forrest aren't very similar, so Tom would have had to engage with the character by trying to get inside his mind, that's intangible, and incorporating that into himself, that's a tangible result. 
This goes beyond simple interpretation of what was written into the into the script and is a perfect example of how a character can live through an actor. Principle 3. The actor must employ a creative spirit and the higher intellect to unify the various aspects of the performance. How I'd explain this is that during a performance, an actor must be both a critical and creative thinker. These processes are usually separated from each other, and the technique works to unite them. Something you can try at home is trying to do a cold reading from a play that you have. The critical part of your mind will be focused on interpreting the script. Meanwhile, the creative part of your mind will seek to bring the character to life with expression, movement, and voice that feels authentic. Principle number four. The purpose of the Chekhov technique is to embody each component of the technique as a means of awakening all parts of the method in order to evoke a creative state of mind. From what I understand, the actor can use components from the technique to enter a creative state of mind at will. This connects with the previous principle, which also stresses the importance of being a critical and objective thinker. And finally, last but not least, principle number five. The actor must penetrate each separate point of the Chekhov technique and then determine to what degree and by what means it frees their talent. Each actor who studies the Chekhov technique is different and will find different parts of this useful in helping them reach the full potential of their talent. Chekhov's technique encourages actors to use what they need to be the best performer they can. A good example of this is if you consider what would be in your hypothetical autobiography. You wouldn't include everything that happened in your life, but only the most important parts. Here is another important quote from Michael Chekhov. Compassion may be called the fundamental of all good art because it alone can tell you what other beings feel and experience. Only compassion severs the bonds of your personal limitations and gives you deep access into the inner life of the character you study, without which you cannot properly prepare it for the stage. I, again, believe he is totally right about this, and it is a really deep quote because... Um, Without compassion, we wouldn't be able to understand each other. He was a very, very smart man, I can tell you that. Okay, um, on to our last bit of information, and this is about the Michael Chekhov Association. I will let you know that this is not a paid promotion, just a friendly shout out here. Um, and basically, I just wanted to let you all know if you're interested in learning more about the Michael Chekhov technique, then they offer um, they offer classes and can teach you. And so I've just uh, got their website, which is michaelchekhov.org, and their phone number. This is in Connecticut, in the United States, uh, and their Instagram at Michael Chekhov Association. Definitely check them out. Thanks for watching. I will be back next week with hashtag monologue Monday and another Friday acting video as well. And I have planned to uh, knock out the rest of these technique studies this year. So you will definitely be seeing more of these. Bye.